Alright, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be giving my MLB DraftKings picks uh, for Friday, July 28th. Uh, like most Fridays, got a really nice slate today, full 15 game slate. I'm um, really liking this slate. We have a ton of pitching options today. Uh, got some really good studs up top uh, that you definitely want to pay for that are in good spots. Uh, you, you also got some really good mid-range options as, as well that are in good spots. And there's also some cheap uh, pitchers, guys under 7K that also get really good matchups. Uh, so I definitely think you can go multiple ways at pitcher. Uh, there are also uh, some really good bats as well that you can pay up for. So maybe if you want to go cheap at pitcher then pay up for your bats, you can definitely do that. Uh, but there are also a bunch of value value hitters that I do like today. Uh, so if you want to pay up for pitcher, then go towards those value hitters. Definitely like that uh, strategy as well. Like I said, multiple ways that you can attack this slate. I uh, definitely think this slate's going to be very fun. I'm going to be looking to pay up for my pitcher, pay up for one of my pitchers. Uh, and then there's a value pitcher that I really like, a guy uh, that's really cheap. So that's the way I'm going to be looking to attack this slate. Uh, going with those two guys still leaves me a decent amount of salary. So I can still pay up for some bats uh, going with those two guys. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so just looking at pitcher, uh, the first guy that I like today, the guy that I want to pay up for um, is Alex Wood at 11,700, uh, getting a matchup against the Giants. Um, if you're playing cash games today, I believe Alex Wood is definitely your top option. Uh, he is by far the safest option on the board. Um, aside from his last game against Atlanta, he did get roughed up against the Braves, had negative three DraftKings points. Uh, but aside from that game, uh, this guy's been one of the most com consistent pitchers all year. Um, he's a great overall pitcher, has a great uh, ground ball rate. I believe he has like one of the highest ground ball rates in the in the majors. I think it's like 60%. Uh, and he's also a great strikeout pitcher as well. Uh, I believe his K rate's over 30%. Um, so Alex Wood, dude's just an absolute great pitcher. He is elite. This dude has just pitched so well all year. Has a great record. He's 11-1. A 2.17 earn run average. So Alex Wood, uh, dude's a stud. I love him today. Um, getting a matchup against the Giants. Um, if you look at the splits versus the lefties, uh, the Giants, they don't really strike out a lot versus lefties. They do rank towards the bottom of the league in K rate. Uh, they only strike out 18.8% of the time. Uh, but offensively, this team's just not an te uh, offense that you have to fear. They're only hitting a 248 average versus righties or versus lefties and a 294 Woba and a they have an 82 WRC+, plus, which also ranks towards the bottom of the league. Uh, so although this team doesn't have a huge K rate versus lefties, they're not an offense that you're going to fear. Um, so I think Alex Wood is in a great spot here. Even though the Giants don't really strike out a lot, I could still see Wood getting some decent, a decent amount of Ks here. I think Wood legit has a 6-7 to seven K floor. I could easily see him getting there. I think he's easily going to be able to get me 20 DraftKings points here, which is great for cash games. Uh, for tournaments, he also has upside. Although the Giants don't really strike out a lot, uh, Wood can still go out there and strike out 10-plus batters. Uh, he's done it multiple times this year. Um, so Alex Wood, my favorite overall pitcher today. Uh, and I'm going to be locking him in at 11,700. Uh, and then for my second pitcher, I don't know if I'll be on an island by myself with this guy. Uh, but I really like this guy. I think he's going to pitch well today. Uh, he's a very cheap, a value pitcher I like. Uh, it's Chad Cool at just 6,300, getting a matchup against the Padres. Um, now, Chad Cool, he is not necessarily a great pitcher, uh, but he's getting a matchup today against the Padres, and you can pretty much play anybody against the Padres. They are just the worst offensive team in the majors. Uh, and versus right-handed pitching, obviously we all know this team strikes out a ton. They, they lead the league in K-rate versus righties. Uh, they're striking out 25.5% of the time. Um, and offensively, not a team that you're going to fear. They're only hitting a 240 average and a 304 Woba versus right-handed pitching. Um, so Chad Cool is definitely in a good spot here. Uh, he's going to be pitching in San Diego, a nice ballpark for pitchers. And when Chad Cool gets a good strikeout game, or when he gets a good strikeout matchup, he can definitely put up the Ks. Uh, he got seven Ks against Milwaukee. They strike out a lot versus right-handed pitching. I believe he got six Ks against the Cardinals. They're not really a strikeout team, but still got six against them. Got six again against Milwaukee. Um, so when this guy gets the right strikeout matchup, he can definitely get Ks. And this is the best strikeout matchup possible for a right-handed pitcher. Uh, so I like Chad Cool today. He's very cheap at just 6,300. We're only going to need about 15 DraftKings points for cash games to hinder, for him to return value on that salary. And I could easily see him doing that today. Uh, the, the Padres have a very low total. I believe it's under four runs. Might actually be four runs. Uh, yeah, they're only implied to score four runs today. So uh, love Chad Cool. My favorite SB2 today, especially if you're looking for a value pitcher. Definitely consider him um, at just 6,300. 
getting a matchup against one of the worst teams in the majors, the Padres. So, Chad Cool, uh, my SP2 today at 6,300. When you plug in Wood and Cool as your two pitchers, uh, that still leaves you 4K remaining per player. Uh, so, you have two good pitchers, two guys that are definitely safe for cash games and have upside as well. So I love going with this combo of pitchers, and it still leaves me a decent amount of salary. So uh, Alex Wood, Chad Cool, my two pitchers for today. Uh, and then my three bats, going to be going to first base for my first guy today. A uh, guy that I absolutely love, a stud hitter I want to pay up for um, is Edwin Encarnacion. Uh, getting a matchup against Derek Holland. Um, Derek Holland, dude's just absolutely terrible against right-handed hitters. Uh, he's one of the worst pitchers in the majors against righties. Uh, if you look at his splits... Versus right-handed hitters, he has given up a 3.93 WOBA. Um, this guy gives up a ton of home runs to righties, a 2.39 home run per nine to right-handed hitters. And then hard contact, uh, Derek Holland has just been absolutely crushed by right-handed hitters, a 42.5% medium contact and over 40% hard contact. Um, so this is a great spot for Encarnacion. Uh, we know he crushes lefties. Uh, and he also has some nice BVP going in his favor as well. Uh, it's a decent sample size. He's seen Derek Holland 20 times, and in those 20 at-bats, Encarnacion has 7 hits. Uh, 5 of those hits were extra base hits, 3 of those hits were home runs. He's hitting 350 versus Derek Holland in 20 at-bats. So uh, Edwin Encarnacion is in a great spot here. Uh, the Indians are going to be going to the White Sox Stadium, which is a decent ballpark for hitters. So absolutely love Edwin Encarnacion today. Uh, the dude's been killing the ball as of late as well, so he's in a great spot here. I'm expecting a home run from him. Could definitely see him uh, hitting two home runs today, so I love Edwin Encarnacion. As my favorite first base play on this slate, uh, and then my next play uh, is going to be a second base, a value play I like here, a guy under 4K, uh, and that's Rugnet Odor at 3,800, getting a matchup against Chris Tillman. I uh, absolutely love Rugnet Odor today for value. Uh, he is just too cheap for this matchup against Chris Tillman. Uh, Chris Tillman, dude's just not a good pitcher. Uh, he's been getting absolutely crushed by lefties this year. Uh, so far versus left-handed hitters, he has given up a 411 Woba. And the hard contact has also been there to lefties. Uh, nearly 80% medium and hard contact to left-handed hitters. Um, so this is a great spot for Uneto Dor. Uh, I think he's underpriced today at just 3,800 given the matchup. Uh, the dude has been heating up as of late. Uh, in his last four games, put up 30 uh, had a down game, got a zero, but then put up 21 and nine DraftKings points. So, uh, Runeto Door been heating up as of late. Uh, they're going to be, or uh, the Rangers are going to be playing at home today in Texas. I believe it's going to be over 100 degrees again in Texas. Uh, we just seen the past few days when it's hot in Texas, the ball will absolutely fly. It's a great hitters park, and it's going to be over 100 degrees uh, right now as I'm recording this video. Uh, Fantasy Labs has the weather as 105 degrees. And both of these teams have an implied run total over five runs. The Rangers is nearly six runs. So uh, this is a great spot for both of these teams. If you're looking for hitters, uh, consider both of the Baltimore and Texas bats. I uh, absolutely love this game just as a game stack. I'm expecting a lot of runs in this game. Uh, so I'm going to be looking to get some exposure uh, to the Rangers today with Rubnet Odor at just 3,800. And then my final play uh, is going to be in the outfield, a guy that I just think is too cheap today. Uh, and that's Ryan Braun. At just 4K, uh, getting a matchup against Jose Quintana. Now, this obviously isn't the most juiciest matchup against Quintana. Uh, Quintana is a decent pitcher, uh, but Ryan Braun, I just think he is too cheap today at 4K, and especially since he's going to be playing at home in Miller Park, and that ballpark is one of the best hitters park. Uh, so I love Ryan Braun today for value. I definitely think you could consider him value at just 4K. Uh, although Quintana is decent against righties, he will give up some hard contact. Uh, he's given up, so far this year, 48.6% medium contact to righties and 32.7% hard contact. Uh, so righties have been hitting the ball hard against Quintana. And like I said, I, th I just think Ryan Braun is too cheap today at 4K, uh, especially playing at home in that ballpark. Going to help him out a ton. This dude is still one of the best hitters in the league. Uh, I believe he was on the DL for quite some time. Uh, and when he came back, I mean, he's just been killing the ball. Uh, it seems like this dude just never stops. Whenever he's healthy and active, uh, Ryan Braun just mashes the ball. So, love him today. If you need somewhat of a value play, I definitely think you could consider him value at just 4K. So, Ryan Braun uh, is the guy that I'm going to be targeting today um, at the outfield. Uh, and, yeah, guys, so these are my five plays for tonight. I went with Alex Wood, uh, Chad Cool, Edwin Encarnacion, uh, Runo Dora, and Ryan Braun. Um, when you plug these five guys in your lineup, that still leaves you an average of over 3,800 remaining per player. Uh, so you do have some salary to definitely work with. 
Uh, you can build a lineup around this five. Uh, just plug in a couple of value plays and then you can make a lineup around this five. Or if you want to get my full lineups, then be sure to follow me on Twitter at the DFS underscore GOAT. Um, my lineups are $5 a day. Or you can get a week of lineups for $25. Um, so message me on Twitter if you are interested in that. Uh, or if you just have any questions about the slate or need to ask me something, you can contact me on Twitter as well at the DFS underscore GOAT. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed. Uh, if this is your first time on my channel, please be sure to subscribe. I do upload these videos pretty much every day. Uh, so I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. Um, and if you never want to miss out on any videos, uh, if you actually scroll down to where the subscribe button is, there is a bell icon. Uh, if you click that little bell, uh, that will actually notify you every time I upload. Um, so be sure to do that as well if you never want to miss out on any videos. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Uh, good luck tonight, guys. Peace.